everyone, Sunny here. I'm doing a kind of a quick video, and this is for Sarah, Cranky Crafter. She had a question about with the gelatos and the difference and all that. Um, I'll show you what I have and why I like it. So I tried to, that's actually a reminder to me that I didn't put any um, sealer on it. So this is just regular craft paint, you know, the little bottles that you saw me using. And then these two over here, the colored Mod Podge. So it already has the coating in. So, um, I don't know if you do use Mod Podge. I know you guys have white glue and you call it PVA. So it's anything that's like with a sealer on it. And then down here I did, I put, um, matte medium on there. So it's got a coating on it and then the two Mod Podge down here, so... I don't know why I did those two up there, but I just wanted you to see the difference on, you know, how it'll be. So we got pink. How about I try one of the... Uh, I think this one will show up better. I don't know if that's bubblegum pink or something like that. But, so this is with no sealer on it. But see, it does. It's still smooth and creamy. And I'm just, I'm not going to add water to this, any of these. I'm just going to use my finger, so. My fingers are starting to split. See how it just, it doesn't glide as, as much, so you would add a little bit of water, even. You know, I was just warming up my finger, so the more you make it warm, you can spread it out. And then, oh, I'm not with it. Here we go. I'll do, um, what, these are. Portfolio oil pastels. So they're these ones. Um, I do like these. They're they are creamy. And if I if I was to get something aside from gelatos, I like these. And these I got at um, Amazon, and they were pretty pretty good. See how it, this one's creamy. This one actually blends better just on the craft paint than a gelato's. And I didn't warm up my fingers. You saw them, they were all in front. So, um, oh, and then I have the Reeves water soluble. You can usually find this at our Michaels. And it's a uh, the lowest price point. The only thing, you know, I mean with these, you don't have all the, a lot of the pretty pinks and all that. But I do like them, so I'm going to use this one. It's one of the ones that I used before when I was using on pink. But with this one, you really got to press down on it. And then it, you really got to work at it especially if you don't have a sealer on it and then see how it kind of clumps up and that but still I mean that's not bad um, I don't know if you guys can see but I had a, a ganglion removed you know it was like a water pocket on here and then right in here that's where I broke my wrist so plus I got um, arthritis in my two fingers here so you know it depends on how much work I'm going to be doing on something or if I can just walk away for a bit and rest my hand where this is my dominant hand I uh, you know you gotta do what you gotta do so I'm gonna do those same flavors again and I'll do them on the pink and then I did the yellow because I think it's you can really see you know if you're doing that blending technique okay so we'll do the gelato Is that the same color? No, that's not. Get with it, Sonny. Alrighty, I'm going to move over a little bit. So so here's that pink. And it, see, with the sealer on it, it already makes it so it's nice and easy to blend out. You know, and you can use Q-tips or... I don't know. I just I like using my fingers. It's just kind of... Reminds me of finger painting without the full mess. And then this is the portfolio oil pastel and this one it's creaming up really good 
that one's blending really nice too. So you get next to it and then it's, you know, and, and it all depends on the pressure too. You could really get down in there and then it removes everything, but you know, you just kind of want to blend it in a little bit, warm it up. All right, so here we go with the Reeves. Like I said, you kind of got to work at it, or I do. That's when my husband says, do you want some fries with that shake? Alrighty, so I'm going to figure it out on the camera here. Those are the without any sealer on it. And that's with the Mod Podge. So I'll do the yellow one now. Same colors. Gelato. See how that one it moves along pretty good. I don't know why it's... Maybe I should wipe my finger too. And I've got my paper towel. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to... I hit my chair. The thing rolls on its own too. Yeah, there's me blaming the chair, so I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, it just wants to lift off of that. Alrighty, so here's the portfolio. These are really nice on this. So you get that nice blending effect. You know, like I said, you could really blend it in, and so you got a nice shaded look. Or you could leave it so it's more solid. And now here's the Reeves. Take some of that pink off my finger. And you can see, I mean, it does it, but, I mean, you've got to really work at it, and then it, I end up removing half of it, so, and then it's like you end up applying it more and more. Alrighty, I'm going to tip sideways to see where I am. Okay, so this is the craft paint with the sealer on it, so. You know, like with these, if I like it just more to highlight or make a border and you can see how it's blending really nice and it's blending nice onto the pink Mod Podge on the but with little effort you know boom there you go uh, what did I do with the okay so here's the portfolio one so I'll do this And I'm going to do it on the bottom too. But I'm just going to do the reeds in the middle because I know I'm going to have to work at it. But like I said, those portfolios are on Amazon. See, that one blends in really nice. So if you were to make a purchase, I would go with a portfolio. Because I think it was like $7, not even... So I don't know what that is in pounds, but and now here's the Reeves. So it's there, but it's you know you you can see where it just kind of peels up and use my other finger, you know, and then sometimes you can see your fingers in it too. So so there's a portfolio gelato. Reeves. And I'll do a little bit on the yellow. I'll do some different colors so you can see the different effects. Like I love doing orange on the yellow. You get the nice sunset look. So there's a gelato and Ones in, and actually, I went over where the there was no sealer too, so it does work okay on it. But just with it, when you got something sealed, it just makes it so much more pleasant to work with. So and then you want to put in a little bit of yellow, so you grade it out a little bit more. So 
So it gives a nice, pretty effect. You know, like fire. Okay, I'll try a... What's this one? Red orange. So this is the portfolio. Because you can already feel it. It's like smooth when you're putting it on. It's kind of like... Oh, I don't know what you guys have for makeup, but we have something like called Wet n Wild, and it's like the 99 cent lipstick and all that, and it's it's all right for 99 cents, but plus you don't know what the heck is in it. Oh, that comes out nice, but um, it's kind of like um, that's what the Reeves are for. You know, not saying that they're bad. It's just that. You know, depending on if you have any kind of arthritis or any kind of pains in your hands, it's it's just, it really, see, I'm, I really got to press down in order to warm it up. And But that's the thing, I guess, if you want to use them, you know, run over your heat gun over it a little bit, not to melt them, but warm them up. So if you're going to use them. So I hope that helps. And, you know, if you got any other questions, go right ahead. I can try this out. And So there's gelatos on the pink. You know, I just, I just love how it just blends. Just nice and easy. How long is this? Well, I'm going to stop for now, and then I'll do a little quick show of how far I've got, gotten with my houses. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.